Yeah, hi, and welcome to this tutorial. In this one, we'll see about scenes and cues and animation. So let's do a little recap. Let me open up my timeline. So right now we've seen the conductor and let's focus on the scenes and cues. And this opens up um, the grid, scenes and cue grids, like uh, the ones of you who used to use MadMapa 5 already know about it, but let's make a, a, a little recap for those who do not know. So right now I have three quads, one, two, three, and each quad has a different um, content, one, uh, two, three. Okay, and I have prepared something else uh, on another quad. Okay, so now let's say I want to make a scene. Okay, so in this scene, I just want to show uh, this quad, quad number one. So I make a scene. Okay, in the second scene, I want to show just the second quad. I make a scene, and the third one, it's going to be the third one. I make a scene. Okay, now I will do the same uh, with cues, so you can see the difference. So let's say I will make this cue. So for this cue, I click the plus, and here it's a little bit more complicated because when you make a scene, it just captures uh, everything from within MadMapper. But when you make a queue, you have to select uh, each parameter that you want to add in the queue. So, for instance, in this one, I want to add the visibility of quad 1, visibility quad 2, visibility quad 3. Okay. So, th that's my first one. I make a second one, and the second one will be just the quad 2. And for this, I have to select... Uh, all the three visibilities and add them into my cube. And I will make the last one so you, we can compare. Okay. And okay. So now what I have is I have a scene. Okay. Scene one, scene two, scene three. Very great. And for the cues, it looks the same. One, two, Three, so it, it's it looks exactly the same. However, what happens is that if I take something else, for instance, uh, and that I put it over everything in additive mode, for instance, okay. Now let me recall my cues: Q one, Q two, Q three. And actually, because this was created after and was not added in the queue, whenever you recall the queue, this something else stays on screen. Now, what happens if I click on the scene? It disappears. Okay. So, what happens here is that uh, when you create a scene, even afterwards, everything that is not in the scene will be turned off. In the queues, it's different because uh, the queues just recall uh, the parameter that are inside the queue. And this allows for really different ways of, of working. Scenes are good when, when you quickly want to scratch an ID, you have something good. Okay, I, I press the, the scene, I like it like it is, and, and I have it. Okay, in the queues, you have to think uh, maybe more in advance, but this allows for combination. Actually, you can combine uh, with the queues, uh, which is a, a very interesting feature. So let's focus on this one. Let's say I take this uh, test card um, over here. Okay, let me change uh, it to something totally white. So I have this, all right. And now I will make a queue. And in this queue, I will record the opacity. I record the opacity. Okay, so now if I edit the queue, let me open up a bit. You can see there is the opacity. There is a value, but it's not animated. If I want to animate it, just click to animate. And now I have my keyframe. So what I can do is I click here, I click here. I add some more keyframes. Okay, and maybe I will do uh, a loop, loop end here. Activate the loop, play it back. Okay, and I, I will even uh, make it faster a little bit. Note that I could just select this. Okay, and now it will somehow snap. Play. 
Okay, it's a nice effect, and I'm animating the opacity. So now what I can do is I could actually uh, create another queue, and in this queue, I want to control the color. So I want to have one queue to control the opacity, one queue to control the color. Let me animate it. Okay. And uh, if I go there, actually, if I visualize the cells uh, in a way that is a little bit more compact, this will give me some room. So now I have this color, I can animate it. Click. Uh, okay, like this. I will pick a nice color to make a nice gradient here as well. Uh, like this. And now some blue. Uh, like this okay and the last one i want it to be the same as the first one so it will make some kind of a seamless loop okay so now i am animating the colors all right okay let me stop it and now i have one queue for the color one queue for the opacity and what is cool is that i can click this one and click this one and now i can combine different behaviors so this is uh, very powerful because it allows you to make combination it allows you to play real time and and to mix and match animations um of different parameters of the same elements or even different elements but that's very powerful what one cool thing though is that now here if you click these three little dots, we have the settings of the, the grid. And you can see here, there is an exclusivity. So exclusivity allows you to stop one queue when you start another one. So this is very handy because if I put this queue here, now with the horizontal exclusivity, now I am controlling the opacity. But if I play back this one, it will stop the opacity one. But actually, it will stop it uh, where it was. So now it stopped like in the 28%. Okay. So this is also very handy because it allows you to, to input some logic into the grid. Of course, I have different modes, uh, exclusivity, no exclusivity at all. So now if I click this one, they will uh, combine actually. No, I, I stop it. And now it's uh, a combination of everything and i can also select grid uh, exclusivity so now each cell will be exclusive to the other so whenever i play one queue this will uh, stop the playback of the others so now you can see it stopped the playback of the others and if i play this one and i play this one it will stop uh, the other queues uh, some other stuff that's interesting uh, is that if you, you do not use scenes, for instance, you can say, uh, I want zero scenes, apply, and they just disappear for, from your interface. So it's uh, a little more uh, to your liking if you don't use it or why, why have it on screen. But of course, I can always revert back to what I had. And yeah, they were stripped from my, from my file. They, they were removed. Actually, that's a behavior we could change uh, in the future and, and just hide them. Okay, and I have some other options like the live mode, uh, which is cool too. And the live mode, if you click it anywhere in the in the queue, it will just trigger the queue. No need to to click on the on the little on the little arrow, and that's very handy because uh, sometimes uh, you use um, a tablet or something and. It's easier to just uh, press everything because remember you can extract this and if you have a second monitor or if you have a tablet plugged to your Mac, you can just put it on, on your external monitor and have somebody control the queue by hand. This is very, very, very handy. And I think uh, that's about it for our tutorial because... Uh, because yeah that's what I, I wanted to show you so thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial thank you